Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Crusader Kings 3. Coming at you with episode 3 of our Women of Dora Run. I always want to say Dora the Explorer. Women of Dora the Explorer Run. The Women of Dora and Crusader Kings 3. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. It is brand new to the channel. Trying to expand our reach beyond Civilization 6 a little bit. So please, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying, and you can catch up on every episode as it's released on a daily basis. And of course, like the videos so that we can get our reach out there to all of the CK3 fans on YouTube. Okay, so, as you can see, we've uh, we've settled in. We've got our four holdings now. We've, we've reached our goal there, four out of four. As we get more control over these in the near future, we'll be able to... Uh, improve there. What I would like to do is uh, the the control in here is low because it got sieged down unfortunately and it's affecting our taxes and our levies of course. What I would like to do is switch over our council to increase control and this doesn't happen quickly but I'd like to get it going as quick as possible. Uh, at least to get it going for a while. So I'm going to go ahead and stick that in there, like this, uh, in here, sorry. And in three years, it'll be under full control. That'll be nice. Uh, our capital in particular is important to get there. Our control here is perfectly fine. The control over here is really poor because we just took those over, but that's fine for now. One thing that is so annoying is that because we uh, were this power couple, if you will, our husband has got his own court, so we don't have a spouse available for in here. Uh, and so that kind of sucks because we couldn't, like, for instance, focus on uh, anything to help our skills out, in particular to improve our intrigue. One thing I have done, and something happened, I thought I tried it earlier and then it didn't work or something, I don't know, but in approximately nine months, we're going to try to get our sway over our quote-unquote rival, and I'd like to try and get rid of that if I could, in order to, uh, well, I want everybody to like me. I certainly don't want anybody trying to kill me, at the very least, so... That is that. Uh, there we go. So it's January 1, 874. We could declare some wars, but they'd be tight wars. We'd have to call in some allies probably. I don't want to send the prestige on that because we're very low on it. And I also don't want this, uh, this series to become entirely about just going to war and getting a claim and going to war. So I like to just kind of embrace things. And one thing I like to do is I like to take a quick look at our decisions. And as you can see in here, there's a bunch of different things you can do. You can obviously search for uh, a physician. You can invite champions, which you did at the first episode. You can also call a hunt where you can uh, spend a little bit of gold and go on a uh, hunt to give you an opportunity to gain some prestige, which is very nice. You can host a feast, which would allow us to gain some piety in exchange for some gold. We can go on a pilgrimage, which would cost us a bunch of gold and gain us piety. And you would be able to, we'd also be able to seek aid of the spirits and hold a mystical communion. These are a couple of unique things that I've not seen before. So I'd like to get into trying those out uh, sometime soon. In fact, my thought was that we could hold a mystical communion right now. I will reach for the presence of Buri in Transfect Ecstasy. Effects, you gain 300 learning lifestyle, which is very nice. The divine guidance for five years, which is increased martial and learning. And there may be unseen, unforeseen side effects as well. So we can take a look at that. And you can do it every five years. And we also have, uh, it also costs 100 piety. Now, one thing I wanted to do before I did that, I was just thinking about this. This just kind of popped into my head. I noticed down here on this, uh, nope, not on that, sorry. That's our culture. This is our faith here. Is we do not have a, a head of faith title. For 50 gold, I could spend and create a faith of a head of faith title, but I'm not really sure what the value of it is. Current head of faith, no one holds the position of Bori head of faith. Spiritual, the position of head of faith is given to a prominent clergy member. The head of faith can grant claims on landed titles to pious adherents. The head of faith can grant gold to pious adherents. So I could potentially get gold back. I could ask for gold in exchange for piety. Could be a potentially valuable thing. So spend 50 gold now. And potentially get it back later when we're using our piety. Um, head of faith is the formal leader of the faith. Powers and natural head of faith depends on the doctrines of the faith. Some faiths 
have the spiritual head of faith like the Pope, others have temporal head of faith like a caliph, and some do not have a head of faith at all. You know what? I don't have any gold, but I'm going to go. I feel like I want to do this. We're, we're going to. You know what? Let's not do it yet. I'm not going to do Because I just. I, the gold, the situation is just. Mm, yikes. But I do want to go ahead and try this. Uh, this one here. Done. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> you gain 300 learning lifestyle. You gain divine guidance for five years. Is that it? There was like no other side effects or anything like that? I don't know. Okay. Uh, what I'd like to do also is... I think I want to educate my own child. I have good. I have a good learning skill there. I have good skills across the board except for injury. I think I want to educate my own daughter. I don't have any other options as far as like geniuses in this place or anything like that. So I'm going to educate my own daughter. And I was also thinking I'd educate one of my sons. New diplomacy perk available. Okay, let's take a quick look at this. We're deciding to come down through matriarch here. Heart of the family. Close family opinion or personal scheme success 25% against family members. Uh, befriend scheme. I like that. So let's come down this way first and get the befriend scheme. And then we'll come down there and come in through here. Okay. There you go. Uh, educate child. He's become my ward. And then the other one I was thinking is between these two children here, one of them, I'd like to have my sons, depending on their attributes. Oh. This is... Oh, this is Sun... Oh, that's the Sun... Oh, okay, that's not my... Uh... Oh, okay, that's my rival there. It turns out she's pretty. She's homosexual as well. But she had, a, she had a child. She has two children, actually. And one of them was there. Okay, at any rate, this is my husband. This is me... Uh, whichever one of my two sons, uh, let's see, has the ability to go military side. This guy does not here. I'm thinking learning or stewardship. Hmm. I'm going to go stewardship. Oh, he already has it. Oh, he already did it. Oh, forget it. Ha <laughs> ha Then, what I'd like to do then is become his educator. And then, from there, I'd like to hope Just a second, where am I? This son gets the ability to go martial. I'd like one of my sons to be a really strong martial idea. Ooh, I'm pregnant again. My husband will be proud. Very nice, very nice. I, I want to have a one or two on uh, my son. My goal is hopefully to have my sons be like military might and become great warriors while my daughters, uh, specifically my heir, uh, become uh, much more on the side of controlling the worlds and the lands. Educate child then. Uh, we swayed. Okay, so there you go. Not bad. We'll continue to sway our quote unquote rival. And if we could ever. find a way to uh to befriend her that'd be good too I just get rid of that uh rival thing not have to worry about it so our our military might has replenished quite nicely we are trucking right along here on increasing the control in our home county 
any chance I'd love for us to have the option of increasing our steward that's so annoying having such a weak one there so annoying indeed <clears throat> Uh, groomed to rule increased to stewardship by one. That's from groomed to rule. Is now is that that's part of this, right? Children receive one to three extra skill points. So he only got the one. Eh. Not great. Uh the big key is oh he's three years old, so maybe that happens when they become three, I think. So the hope will be that the daughter will get much, much luckier than that. Just starting to get some skills in here so hopefully she'll we really want her to to be kicking some serious butt uh oh a son so only the one daughter so far for every birth it gets a little easier yet i never cease to be amazed by the intensity of the experience and my own strength once more i have brought forth a new life to this earth in the shape of a perfect little son who will become who you become a child and what shall I call you? We shall call you... Uh, didn't we already name one after the husband? I thought we did. Najibu. I like that. Najibu. So we got a little bit more prestige out of that. Always nice to be pouring in the prestige. Uh, one thing I would like to take a look at is low control, county corruption. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Uh, sorry, I got just sidetracked. One thing I wanted to take a look at was here. The, the uh, each living child gives you one random skill point. Okay, yeah. So the more children we have, the more random skill points that we're going to get like that as well. And we're also going to want to start to make friends. Now, with the sway on here, we can't, once we're like, I can't befriend if you're already in love, okay. So maybe make friends. Yeah, maybe make friends with him. Can we make friends with the rival? Maybe. Let me let me close this down. We're in the positive on that. Can I? Yeah, let's try to befriend. Bit of an uphill battle. We're going to give it a shot. We're going to try it. Our gold's coming along. Prestige isn't bad. How old are we now? 33. Once we're out of childbearing age. Pragers? Again! A child is growing in my womb, my husband. We were proud. My husband's getting all the babies. Um, excellent. The more baby is the better. But as I was going to say, just as that happened, coincidentally enough, uh, I'm going to get rid of the family focus once I'm not in, like once I don't need that fertility, and I can start to grab this prestige, which I think could be key. It'll make life a lot easier for making a little bit bigger retinues and such. With uh, I don't know if retinues is the right word, but men at arms, if you will, my own personal levies of men at arms. So, yes, Dora is going right along. This is almost good here. What else are we doing? Um, that's not really helping us much. The gold's not helping us much either, for that matter. There's not really a whole lot of good that can come of a lot of this stuff, but we'll just... wouldn't mind once we're done that. Probably should work on these ones, but I wouldn't mind being able to train our commanders as well. We have one very good one. Uh, we have the 18, 14, 12, 10, 10. And nine. Wait a minute, just a second, Mr. Postman. One, two, three, four. Five. Yeah, so right now, 
we have a nine and an eight going to work because uh i'm actually gonna put because we have um i'm gonna go ahead and see if we can't recruit this guy for three bucks yeah let's do that that'll improve us two tens a 12 a 14 and 18 and a 28 one of the tens is my half sister she's forbidden which means a nine is getting in. That's not terrible. I think I'll live with that. Uh, recruited guests to your court. That's fine. A call to war. Oh boy. A high chiefess Dharama, my seashell, <laughs> my seashell. That's the that's what they put on the bed, right? When they were romanced, seashell, my seashell. I call on you to honor our alliance to join me in a subjugation war. Signed. Hi, Chieftain. Your boo-boo, your hubby boy, Slayer of the Snake of Canoe. Um, I think I got to accept. Yeah, let's do this thing. Let's go. Join to war. And who are we at war with? This guy over here. Okay, so we're safe that way. It's going to be an interesting war. Uh, doesn't... Oh, he's killing it. This guy's toast. What I think I'm going to do is in order to try... And, I'm going to go ahead and raise my armies. So i got to go here and I'm just going to grab this like this. Like that. Raise my armies. And... Whoa, befriend stroking her ego. Things are looking up, maybe? I don't know. I always seem to be focusing on Baguaria's negative sides, which is rather unproductive with my current goal in mind. Surely she must have admiral strengths, too. A discreet but thoughtful compliment. Acknowledge, acknowledging one of her virtues might be a good idea. So her virtues... She's uh, deceitful, which is not good. Arbitrary. She's ambitious, and she's pretty. Ambitious and pretty, okay. Uh, while we're while we've had our rose, but it is kind soul. E. She has rather commanding presence. When I think about it, she is good with people. Uh, level head. Hmm. Ambitious, commanding presence. Being assertive, for being kind, for being gregarious, being level-headed. She's none of those things. Deceitful makes me feel like definitely, like she's not honest or anything like that. I'm trying to think of what one that would actually potentially be good. Ambitious. I wonder how ambitious would... In I don't think kind is the way to go. Maybe assertive. Gregarious, probably not getting it done. I'm going to go with Commanding Presence. I made sure uh, Bagria is within our earshot when I mentioned how she always captures everyone's attention as she enters the room. I later had it confirmed that she had struggled to hide a satisfied smile upon hearing my words. A heartfelt compliment can truly work wonders. The scheme befriend Bagria gained kind words. Uh, oops. Scheme success chance plus 10. Beautiful. So 45 up to 55. We are now on the positive side of the coin flip, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, baby. Oh, jeez. I'm trying to get into this war here. Uh, pull the strings, my sweetness. High Chieftain Baya, Bajita knows a lot about how to negate, uh, navigate the many relationships at court. He suggests that he to put his extensive uh, expert sorry I need to learn how to read I'm trying to read fast my lips get moving too quickly blah, blah, blah. he suggests that he could put his expertise to good use in my diplomatic overtures towards Baguiria. Um a great idea indeed friend scheme gains progress that's a very good idea since that's that's actually her lover or her concubine that guy this chick's my husband's concubine so good things very open relationship so there you go um i'm thinking i 
Hmm. There's no need to really pop on there because if they're already taking, he's looking to go around. Maybe I cover. Holy cow! Look at look at like the rivers and stuff, eh? Like that little. What is that? It's like a weird graphic or something. Like a floodplains kind of thing. Oh, that's floodplains, I think. Yeah, that's a really cool graphic. For floodplains. Uh, yeah, this guy's trying to go back door, so I'm gonna come over here and cover that. Another son! Jesus, it's a good thing we had the one daughter. My relief is great, and my joy even greater. I have given birth to a perfect little son. Who will you become, my child, and what shall I call you? An ancestor. We've already got some of these. A good new. Um, something that I like. Diara. I don't mind that. Hmm. Garen. Hmm. I don't know. Musa. Monza Musa. I like it. More prestige and another baby for yours truly. Uh, Befriend the dance. Oh boy. After learning that Bagwira would be attending the dance in the castle town of Nezao. I decided that it would be the great occasion to pass by to ensure I get some time face to face with her. The day of the dance was, um, sorry, the day of the dance was presaged by the gray skies, and unlike the festivities I expected, the mood was dour. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! That was going so well, and it just went kaput. I really wanted that to work. Oh my god. Whatever. Whatever, man. Let's go ahead and just befriend Ali. 100% chance. Let's just get a friend on board anyway, and we'll try the tougher one afterwards. Uh, he's coming around the flank. We're trying to get to the capital to protect, which should work out quite well for us. Yeah, I'm going to turn him around. He'll get the siege in. That's going to work well. The thing is that sucks is I won't get credit for that. I'm not going to get credit for a fight or whatever. Uh, befriend with effort. I would understand him. You gain 30 stress. Gains redoubled effort. Yeah, I'm not Yeah, I'm not going to push it because it's 100% chance of success. Uh, ooh. My daughter has gained charming diplomacy and intrigue plus one. Let's go. That's what we are talking about, baby. Let's go. So my air is now charming. Mm -mm -mm. Very nice. Diplomacy perk available. Let's go. Flatterer. Befriend scheme plus 30%. That should make it easier to get. Ooh, gro whoa, 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 whoa. Groom to rule. She turned three years old. And she got plus three on intrigue. Interesting. Plus three on intrigue. So she's going to have a diplomacy intrigue background. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, preaching unorthodox doctrine. Whoa, what's going on here? Your court chaplain's poor learning skills. Oh, jeez Louise. Attorney troubles as high chief deaths. I have been obliged to attend a local wrestling tournament, but the contestants have been delayed. The tourney won't start for at least another hour. Uh, my maga, maga ja dirja. I, I have no idea. How to say those things is driving me nuts. Is here and as always is being insufferable lout. Her constant complaining is making everyone even more miserable than normal. On the other hand, I just noticed a merchant dropping off a cart of spiced wines. Oh boy. Uh, she spends. So, I, I, she would become my rival. I could gain prestige out of it. 
but I would also gain stress. So I could get rid of the stress. I could lose stress, which I don't have, or I could become a drunkard. Oh, 10% chance. Of, I don't want to take the chance, though. Um, I don't really want a rival, but the prestige is enticing. Uh... No, I don't want the rival, because it could lead to crappy things. Religious refugees! Uh, Devagume Zunka rules over the nearby chiefdom of Yukuri, which is home of the large uh, devout Boris. We've already seen this one before, have we not? We cannot allow him to oppress the faithful, uh, smuggle, or, yeah, this one here where we have the 100% chance. Yeah, let's do that one again. And gains opinion of you. Excellent. Some declare war options available to us. Oh, what's this guy doing? I didn't. I missed this one. This is actually in the hills, which is not going to be advantageous for our. Go chase him down. Hills, drylands. Be great if we could catch him here instead. It's going to be kind of an even battle, but. It'll allow me to get some ear score, or ear, ear score, got Civ 6 on the brain. It will allow us to get some war score towards skinning prestige out of the end of the war. Our champion was wounded. Was not a particularly successful attempt at the battle, but we're going to take it. Um, oof. This, that was, that was brutal. <clears throat> Freedom and friendliness. Interpreting my recent friendliness as a sign Ali has come to me with a concern for one of his prisoners. Or one of my prisoners. It would please me greatly if you were to release my kinsman. Sure. Attacking on the hills was probably a mistake. But it seems like the war is going well. Okay, so control has been increased. And I think I'm going to switch over and grab control in there. That's going to be nine years, but worth the effort, I think. They're sent packing. They're going to head over in there. Unfortunate that things did not work out well for our, our uh, sorry, I'm looking in the wrong spot, 2018. Ooh, there's a 16 I can recruit to court for three bucks. Let's do it. Excellent. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Let's keep going. We can get through this war here. <clears throat> Befriend the estate. The trip was worth the effort. We have become friends. Excellent. Next. Oh shit. What the hell happened to her? Oh, she got she became a leper. Oh, she was pretty. And she became a leper. Severe penalty to health. She'll be dead in no time. Oh, that's that's rough. That's I'm sorry to hear that. Ouch. Frenzies? Oh, we can't because we've already tried it recently. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, who else can we become friends? You know what we could do? Maybe be friends with our sister. That should be an easy one. Yeah, let's do that. Let's become friends with the sister. Here we go, making all kinds of friends. Because as I said, in our focus tree here, once we get to each, each of your friend relations gives you two random skill points. If we could have like half a dozen friends, like that's gonna be crazy skill points for us. 
So making all the friends is the way to go. You can never have too many, as they say. Um, so interestingly, we went and did that decision for the Mystical Communion, and we never got any, other than obviously we got the positive effects, we didn't get any of the alternative options, the unknown things to happen. One other thing I was thinking about doing before we ended this episode was calling a hunt, spending some gold and grabbing some prestige. Was kind of an idea I had. Um, those are, they're not, um, are those, it's hard to tell if those are the, the red ones versus these are like hostile, but not, yeah, they're going to try and take that back. I want to try and go in there and get that kill before. Let's desert. Our champion was wounded. Damn it. Stop getting wounded, champions. I'm going to come back here and disband my army. Inspired moderation following the death sentence of a lowly thief, I asked my son Yama what he thought. He claimed he had learned a lesson about not reaching for more than one can handle. Uh, outreaching can be terribly dangerous. He keeps the trait temperate. Temperate's nice for stewardship. We like that. Um... We could also lose Temperate and gain Just, which is not great on Intrigue, but you do gain some learning. I'm not sure if I wanted to lose three Intrigue, though. Other option would be to gain Cynical, which is Learning and Intrigue. Bonus. Hmm. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Cynical. It is time to show him how little Buri cares. There you go. Cynical son. So let's take a look. Let me pause this up for a second. Let's take a look at our children here. Our firstborn, who is the one that we uh, had to disown or whatever, disinherit in order to get our a lot on books, is turning out to be okay. He's disinherited, as you can see here. Uh, curious and he's arrogant apparently okay his stats are decent at 10 not bad he's got an education focus now we also have our firstborn son into the normal game time as we were and he's got pensive and cynical as we added in there so another plus two he's got some interesting educational things going on there very nice. Uh, I'm also his ward. And then we have this son who I was hoping would be get... Oh, he's bossy. That's good for Marshall. Uh, I would like to change his education focus. I'm not his ward, but I think as his mother, if he doesn't have a ward, I can possibly change it on my own. I can't educate it, but I can give it to somebody else. I'm going to see what the happens because he can get martial. I'd love for him to get a really nice martial education. Um, in fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and educate child, and I'm going to actually have... Who that? 15. Uh, I'm going to actually have Kilia do it. Like that. There we go. What else do we have for children? My first daughter, she's got the charming thing going on. Hasn't got any learning skill yet, unfortunately. She's base one, two, two, three, zero at the moment with some prowess. She's four years old. She's got the charming. When the opportunity comes, we'll be choosing most likely between intrigue 
and diplomacy as our educations. I'm curious about the idea of going intrigue here. And that could be kind of fun to have our heir be intrigue uh, when she takes over. Uh, and then we have two more sons beyond that. This son's already getting some martial going, which I like to see. And then the youngest son. Oh, wait, that's the daughter. Oh, there's so many kids. Jeez Louise. The youngest son has got quick. Nice. Very nice. Excellent. Okay. Just wanted to get an idea of where our children were at and what they were up to. Um, one thing like I said I wanted to do here is before we uh, wrap things up, I wanted to go on a hunt. Call the hunt. You go on a hunt in one of your uh, baronies of your realm. You lose stress, which we are actually gained a little bit of stress there. So we'll be able to get rid of that all. Uh, you may get opportunities to increase your prestige, which of course is what we're looking for. Spending 17 gold in exchange for some prestige. So let's go ahead and press play. Hopefully we can get this war over with here before we call the end of this episode. Hunt the foragers. The woods truly, uh, the roots truly are the mantle of the poor. But as the fox flees in panic from foraging peasants, I feel my patience wearing thin. Surely there must be a better things to do in Dara than picking roots and mushrooms. A guards drive the rabble out of my hunting grounds. Uh, gain 150 prestige. Chieftain Madora gains peasant denied forest for 10 years. We don't want that. Or a generous donation sh uh, should keep them away long enough. For 15 gold we gain some piety and the chieftain games aided peasants. Popular opinion development growth 10% for 10 years. That's an interesting idea. What's the negatives here? Popular opinion minus 30. Well, that sucks because we wanted prestige but I didn't want, I don't want the negative impact so we're going to have to kind of bite it. Uh, these guys we're going to disband. Expand the army. We should be in good shape for that war. We've done enough. Hunt returned from the wild. The hunt is drawing to the end. We uh, we mount our horses to leave the drylands behind as the servants prepare the fox and other game for the journey back. To, he to heed the call of the wild is usually an adventure, and the this outing truly delivered both the good and the bad in overabundance. So we are going to gain some prestige. The hunt ends. Let us leave this adventure behind for now. So we gained some prestige out of that. We got some piety. I had to spend a little bit of gold and got some piety out of it. Which isn't too bad. One thing I was thinking is, before long, we had a lot of piety. We could start spending that towards gold. If we did have a head of faith for 50 gold. We're going to do it. To heck with it. We're doing it. Amida declared... Ina. Though the righteousness of our faith was never in doubt, the period of time we had, uh, sorry, we have been forced to endure without a spiritual leader has been trying. At long last, this ordeal is over, however, as the Magadias have convened to elect Amita as one true, as the one true Ina, with the faithful finally un un uh, unified behind a single leader, it seems as if a new golden age of Bori is upon us. Fantastic. Favor increased by 50. So, our fervor is now 100%. And we can, if we wanted at some point, I'm thinking, maybe ask for gold? I'm not sure if that's going to be something we can do or not. If not, then I just spent 50 gold for not a whole lot. <laughs> okay, befriend the dance. What a good day, and your scheme to befriend, uh, become friends. There you go. So our sister becomes our friend. That's the positive outcome. We saw the negative outcome of the dance. This is the positive outcome of the dance. What a good day, indeed. And what a good episode it has been. We did not quite get to the end of the war, but the war is going well for us. And uh, I don't know what this guy thinks he's doing. I guess he's just going for a journey. Anyway, that's going to be another episode, folks. Thank you so much. It's been a blast. We'll see you next time.